One of the most interesting theories of international trade is the theory of OCA, an acronym for Optimum Currency Areas. It was developed by Mundell and McKinnon during 1960s. It is basically a geographical area in which a single currency would create greater economic benefit. In particular, countries that share strong economic ties may benefit from a common currency. This allows for closer integration of capital markets and facilitates trade. One such example of OCA is the Euro. But why is it done? An OCA is formed mainly for three reasons. First, to eliminate uncertainty that rises when exchange rates are not fixed. Second, to encourage producers to view the entire area as a single market. And lastly, to benefit from greater economies of scale of production. However, there's a flip side to OCA. It results in a loss of each country's ability to direct their fiscal and monetary policy interventions to stabilize their individual economies.